Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to create a simple but realistic 3D model of light bulb in AutoCAD 2024. This is a drawing of the bulb which we are going to model here with dimensioning and after modeling we will change to 3D and we will apply the material on this bulb. So when you open this drawing you see this grid line. You can off the grid by pressing function key and F7. Grid is off now. And you have to change your AutoCAD work environment to 3D. For that you have to click here, click on 3D modeling. I am already there. When you click on 3D modeling your skin will look like this. So click on home, start model. Now my ortho is not off, on. How to on the ortho? Press function key Fn plus F8 both together and then your ortho will be on. And this is 15. And then we will give offset 15 and downside. And then we will give offset 60. We can increase and decrease the height of the image by picking the corners. So we here, this is center line here. Now we will offset 25, offset for O, enter 25. Now we have to create a radius R for creating radius circle click here. Click on center radius, pick here and give radius 25, it is greater and this is 20, we have to offset 10. If you want to offset this side, click here. If you want to offset other side, move the cursor on that side. Now we have to extend this one up to here for extend type EX and then type E for edges. Click here, click here. And then we will trim TR, type TR for trim. Select this one and this one. We will trim this one and we will delete these lines. Now we have to offset 7.5, offset 1.25 because it is 2.5. Now we will extend this, this thing, type EX, edges. Here trim, if we trim this one. Now we will give this radius and you have to type this is a fillet. You can click here or type your F, F, enter, then type radius, 
गिव द रेडियस है वैल्यू इज 20 अगेन एंटर सो बेसिक ज्योमेट्री इज कैटेड नाउ एंड वी हैव टू मेक दिस वन अ सेंटर लाइन हियर फॉर दैट यू हैव टू टाइप लाइन टाइप and then you have to click on load and you have to select a center line you can choose any line as per your requirement from this uh, reload line type okay and then okay this one select this one type change properties and click here by layer center line and then escape so you can change the line type scale here select this one and type here 0.5 you can increase and decrease the scale from so let's do the dimensioning here for dimensioning you have to go here and edit you type here d for dimension style you can modify your dim dimensioning as per your requirement click here i will change the color this one line to blue this extension to red you can change the close fill arrow whatever you required you can change select here i will keep close fill this one you can change the size of the arrow from this here we put it increasing or decreasing the size so you can change the color to red and here is the text placement vertical option available here use above center and if you text alignment if you click the horizontal all text will be horizontal if you want to align by dimension now it is with the dimension this so iso we will check set iso only apply sorry modify then go to units you can change the units here whatever you want engineering architecture so you want decimal here you want to go 1.1 here here can you can change the separator period is for dot point okay apply so for horizontal click here and mention here this one 60 fifteen Seven point five. Again, select this one. From this point to this point. Fifteen. From this point to this point. Twenty. From this one to this one. Two point five. And now we will get the radius. Click this arrow button. Click radius. Select this one. pick this arrow this one and so in this way we first create a object and then we do the dimensioning now let's start do the 3d modeling this is not required for 3d we will copy this one we will get this dimensioning not required in 3d and we will use the revolve command so we need a half of this one trim this one you can change back to 
solid if you want change properties select here solid for revolve command we need this matrix should be a single entity how we can make single entity type reg enter then now the single entity now we will use it revolve command click home and then revolve here select this one enter enter give the path and give the degree 360 you can give any degree 180 270 135 whatever you want as per your drawing and now we will we will go into 3d view click here and go to southwest and this is created here you can change here conceptual this is created now we have to create this one cylinder on the vertical and here we have to change the ucs why we have to change the ucs let's say i will draw a circle here the circle rotation is downward it will go up and down but i want circle this way this side so for that we have to change ucs and click here this is a ucs change select this one this one and this one change now we will draw circle diameter diameter is 2.5 now we created the circle here we will extrude this one now enter 20 mm so we created this one now you can uh, rotate the view by orbit command when we click here this is a different entity and this is a different entity we can combine together by union command so this is a union select this one enter and that is now is a single entity we go at top here now we will apply some material to it so for that you have to go here visualize here click on material browser here we know this is a glass so we will click here library and select glass so these are the options available here so we go to home and we will change into southwest here for changing the material we have to click here realistic and now we start applying here blue drag it there change here let's say this blue green here this is blue green here looking fine so we can change the background it is not looking great so we have to go here visualize here and then type sun status and then turn off default and here we have option environment so i will make it on and here i will change the background screen you can change the background here we have solid gradient i will pick on gradient here then i will change color as per my own now this color is changed we will close this one
you start applying material whatever you want here and you can rotate this one if we looking perfectly fine keep in this way we can apply the material to in it so we created a bulb in 3d here Thanks for watching. If you found this tutorial helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Do not forget to subscribe for more 3D modeling tutorials. Let me know in the comments what you had like to see next. See you in the next video.